Hello, this is the Jurassic Expert here, back with another video. I will be talking about some of the rumors for 2021, mainly Mattel rumors, if you're... I probably should have worded this better, but first of all, I do have a special announcement, and that is you guys will have an opportunity to meet me in real life, possibly. I will say that possibly because I am, as many of you probably know, I do try to keep my an anonymity. Man, that's a tongue twister right there. So I haven't really made any efforts to go out and meet people except for one time last year that was mainly just to get more outreach on my channel. But you guys might actually get a chance to meet me because I am going to be an elections worker this year. Uh, last weekend I did the training, and yeah, I'm gonna be an elections worker, so those of you that are at home with your parents, you don't really have strict schedule for school, or if you guys are adults and you're going to vote, uh, if you go to the polls, there's a chance you might get to meet me, and you're probably wondering, well, Jurassic Expert, how will we know if it's you? Well, I mean, I thought my voice would be enough. Obviously not. The main way that I'm wanting you guys to look out for is I will be wearing a pin on my shirt, an Admonosaurus pin, this pin that should be going on the screen. So I will be wearing that pin. Look out for that pin and don't be afraid to come up and say hi. Uh, if you do take a picture or anything and if you post it on social media, whatever you do, you just don't say the location for two reasons. A, I'm, I'm trying to be still anonymous about my location to majority of you guys, but also I kind of want it to be a nice surprise for anybody else that's going to be looking for me. So yeah, hopefully I see at least one of you guys over uh, at the over at the elections. I will give one hint go about where I am stationed, and that is I am going to be at it's a medical center. That's all I'm going to say. So keep your eyes out, guys. Another announcement that I have to make, it's a little bit more unfortunate, and that is because I'm going to be working as an elections worker, I unfortunately won't be able to get the Halloween special up by October 31st. I won't have anything up. And not to mention, uh, I wasn't actually finished writing it. I'm still going to try making it. I'm still going to try posting it. It'll just be rare, very, very late, uh, as most of my videos have been. And just to throw salt in the wound for me, I actually, I, I needed to close out the document that I have where I was writing it. And it was like a couple of weeks worth of work. It didn't tell me that I didn't save it, which I thought I did, and pretty much a couple of weeks worth of work was gone. Just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a preview. Oh yeah, and just to give a little bit of insight, uh, the main protagonist in the story, is his name is Lawrence. A lone skinny Dynamicus stalks the nests. It wouldn't typically go for hatchlings when they're heavily heavily guarded alone, but this Dionychus is desperate. He has been outcasted by his pack and hasn't been able to find prey for weeks. Lawrence turns his head and sees the large theropod as it stalks in the bushes. Its bright yellow eyes lock onto its target, the same nest that Lawrence is in. The Dionychus takes his chance and darts from the bushes and makes a beeline for the nest. Lawrence turns. The Dionychus snatches a baby of Monosaurus, killing its prey by stabbing it with its massive claws. And he makes his daring escape. He sees the tree line, can almost feel the plants brushing against him. Out of nowhere, Lawrence's father targets the Dionychus head first knocking him down. The Dionychus drops the baby of Monosaurus, stunned. Lawrence's father slams down the monster with his front legs, crushing the attacker's lungs and rib cage, which impales him from the inside out. The Dionychus coughs up blood that continues to dribble out of his mouth as he lay down. 
and that's about all I'm going to say for that part. That is going to be actually the a little bit of the beginning, uh, because again, it set me back a whole lot. But there's going to be more suspenseful parts. Let's get on to the news part. Okay, so a couple of months ago, back in the summer, I think, we actually got Amber Collection rumors, but one of the rumors actually was revealed later on as Velociraptor Echo. In terms of it being a Velociraptor, and it's meant to resemble the Camp Cretaceous Echo, which, in terms of that, if you were comparing those two, yeah, it looks great. But that doesn't really hold true to Echo herself. Like, it, it lacks the scar. In fact, Marco makes, uh, actually, I, I don't know if he repainted an Amber Collection figure or something. I didn't watch the video, I just saw the thumbnail. But, he, from what I saw, it looked like a pretty nice, like, rendition or a remaster of the Amber Collection Echo. But... Not paying attention to Jurassic World. Let's, hypothetically, the Camp Cretaceous design is accurate to Jurassic World. Hypothetically, it's not. Uh, hypothetically, from that standpoint, yeah, this Echo looks pretty nice. The Tiger Stripes look pretty nice. It comes with the headgear. For a second, I thought this was a Tiger Stripe Velociraptor from the Lost World, and I was like, oh, that's cool. I mean... The stripes should be more defined, but whatever, this is decent. <laughs> but then it, I saw the headpiece and I was like, oh, this is Echo, isn't it? But yeah, so we'll be getting, hopefully soon, the rest of the Raptor Squad. So now let's go on for the Amber Collection rumors. These ones, I wouldn't say they're confirmed. Because, really, I think it was only on a Target, one of the Target screens or something. Somebody took a picture of it. But, I don't know. Echo popped up shortly after that. Like, at least a couple of months after that was posted. So, but anyway, let's go over it. So, first off, we see Amber Collection Dr. Grant action figure. Which... I mean, out of the human characters, one of my favorites is Dr. Grant. I'm sorry, Malcolm, but Dr. Grant, gotta love him. But yeah, we're getting a Dr. Grant Amber Collection figure. I mean, I'd act surprised, but it was inevitable. I would actually be disappointed if Mattel didn't make an Amber Collection Alan Grant. But then the next question is, because this was posted before Dominion was delayed, and that is... Is this Alan Grant going to be from Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park 3, or Dominion? That's my next question. Most likely, I think it's going to be from Jurassic Park. Then we get a Dr. Ian Malcolm. Uh, this could be a different variant, possibly from The Lost World. Maybe a bow damaged version from Jurassic Park. Maybe even Fallen Kingdom. Maybe Dominion as well. I don't know. That's a possibility. Or it could just simply be a re-release of the one that we already got. But then here's something interesting. Amber Collection mid-sized Pyroraptor. Now, we have not seen on screen a Pyroraptor before. Which is making me think, maybe this is from Dominion. Unless this is going to pop up in Camp Cretaceous, which I, I think is highly unlikely. It's possible, but I just think it's unlikely. Oh yeah, and I also wanted to talk about the mid-size. This has been making a lot of people racking their brains, maybe theorizing, oh, we're going to probably get an Amber Collection T-Rex or something. While it's possible, I know I'm in the minority here, I kind of hope this doesn't happen. I think Mattel will be kind of shooting themselves in the foot. Because the Amber, the 6-inch Amber Collection figures alone are 30 bucks. How do you guys, how much do you think <laughs> a super colossal sized T-Rex, that's pretty much a giant Amber Collection figure, how much do you guys think that's going to cost? I don't know, maybe 100, 150 bucks? Uh, I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> I, don't, I don't have that cash to be throwing around at Amber Collections. Not everybody has that kind of money to throw around. In fact, 
I think majority, well, I mean, obviously majority of this audience is going to be adult collectors that do have that money, but in terms of, like, teenage, keeping that in mind, I kind of hope that there isn't an Amber collection, like T-Rex or Indominus or something, because I think the Super Colossals are just fine being the quote-unquote Amber collection counterpart, because the Amber collection figures are actually in scale with those with the super colossal figures so then we got a mid-sized pteranodon so we are getting a pteranodon amber collection figure which is really exciting uh they're probably going to do a jurassic world version but it would be cool to see the different versions of the pteranodon including the jurassic park 3 and the Lost World versions of the Tyrannodon. Then we get another Amber Collection Malcolm action figure. I don't know, maybe maybe I'm right. Maybe there's going to be a Lost World. Maybe it's going to be a Dominion or... I, or these could just be both an error in that system. I don't know, it's really too early to tell. Then here's another interesting one. A mid-sized Deinonychus. Now this is another one that we technically have not gotten a confirmation of in the Jurassic franchise. We have not actually seen on-screen Deinonychus. You could argue, well the raptors, some people have theorized that those are Deinonychus. Well, they kind of killed that theory when they started actually advertising them as Velociraptors. But still, it would be cool to see Dionychus, and maybe this is a dinosaur that will pop up in Dominion like the Pyroraptor. Then we get Amber Collection Dennis Nedry, already released, no other movies, maybe an alternate variation. We get another exciting human figure, we get the Amber Collection John Hammond figure, this one I'm going to just say right off the bat, this is going to be from Jurassic Park. I cannot imagine that their first release of an Amber Collection John Hammond would be him in his pajamas. Yeah, that's cool. We'll be seeing an Amber Collection John Hammond. Then we get an Amber Collection Dr. Arnold. Dr. Arnold, Samuel L. Jackson's character, is finally getting a figure. This is, this is one of the overdue characters, similar to John Hammond. Hopefully this means that we will be getting a 3.75 inch figure of him, which I will be covering some of the details of why that might be a possibility now. Then we get a really interesting Amber Collection human, which is Pilot Kayla. Now, back when this came out, a lot of people were theorizing, oh, this is probably a Camp Cretaceous character. Camp Cretaceous came out. No pilot Kayla. Then again, there's always season two. Then we get mid-sized Velociraptor. I don't really know where this could go. It could just be another uh, release of the Amber Collection Velociraptor. Dimorphdom. We will be getting a Dimorphdom, which is really cool. So I cannot wait for that. And I am very interested in how the stands are going to look with that. And then this one got a lot of people excited, and that is the amber collection tiger raptor that is the velociraptor from the lost world so this is really exciting we will be getting different raptor variants from the other films other than just jurassic world and jurassic park so that is awesome then there's jp1 velociraptor so i'm really confused now again this could be a slight variation then we move on to another cool human figure and that is ellie sattler we are getting the trio again question is is this jurassic park ellie sattler or dominion ellie sattler could go either way i'm kind of leaning towards jurassic park and then that's it for the amber collection reveals so far maybe i missed something we have some 2021 the mattel line details the new line for 2021 a lot of people were wondering what was going to happen with it since dominion was delayed by a whole year and collect jurassic they actually posted some i am going to use the images from their video so collect jurassic if you're watching this please don't get mad at me i'm giving you credit for these images it will be called dino escape with this we will be this is what the new 2021 line is going to be called right off the bat we have something called a wild pack which is supposed to replace the attack packs and the savage strike figures and we have a couple of species so we have the ba we have a baby Nazuto Ceratops, 
Barrerosaurus moros intrepidus, a new species, I have no idea what that is. A Velociraptor, a Dimetrodon, and a Zuniceratops, and Speed Dino 1 and 2. So, I don't know what the Speed Dino is, but I have a theory. Zuniceratops, Nizutoceratops, and Moros Intrepidus. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, those three are three new species. Then we have something that's a Roar Attack, which will replace the sound strike which replaced the roar boars here we have ceratosaurus parasaurolophus and kylosaurus dino 4 and dino 5 whatever those are nizutoceratops so we will be getting a roar attack nizutoceratops ceratosaurus a second ceratosaurus probably with a new paint deco and then a baryonyx but seeing that we have gotten grim and Limbo, the only one missing is Chaos, so that's pretty cool. We might be seeing Chaos in 2021, which makes sense because Camp Cretaceous Season 2 comes out in 2021. Then we have something called a Mega Destroyer. I think this is supposed to... It's rumored that they will include Capture Gear, which got a lot of people really excited since we have not actually seen Capture Gear since 1997-ish. Then we have some large dinosaur comp confirmations. One of these I expected. The other one? Where the heck did this come from? This is actually the first time I'm hearing of this. I just went on the JP Toys right now. Okay. For the larger dinos, we will be getting a super colossal Toro figure. Surprise, surprise. Uh, hopefully it will be in scale with the T-Rex and the Indominus, so that way it could be in scale with the Amber Collection figures. But then, I'm not sure if this is actually going to be Super Colossal. But we have Super Colossal Giganiosaurus. Now this is a species I personally have been wanting for a while now. I am really excited to hear we will be getting a Giganiosaurus in the future. If any of you have not heard this news yet, I need you guys to just sit down and make sure you don't have a table in front of you because you might flip it. We will be getting human packs, which from the sound, from what I've heard, from what I've heard, will obviously contain a human. It will also come with a dinosaur. We are getting human figures, hopefully, but we there is one thing we have to keep in mind. And that is, we need to take this all with a grain of salt. Give some nice room to include characters that the community has been asking for, like Franklin Webb figure. You could, you guys can cram something in there with, with Franklin Webb, definitely. So those are some of the rumors for in terms of the figures that are coming out in 2021. But there have been a couple of dinosaurs which I feel obligated to cover. When I saw it, I knew immediately what it was, uh, and that is the Lystrosaurus. I saw this and I was like, oh, that guy looks like a Lystrosaurus. And somebody actually was like, oh, is that a Lystrosaurus? And um, Colin Trevorrow, who actually responded to that comment and said, oh yeah, you're right. It did not live alongside the dinosaurs. It lived during the Permian. But here's the thing, for those of you, for a couple of the uh, more hardcore Jurassic Park fans that don't even seem to realize this, this is not the first time we have actually seen a canon representation of a Permian species in the Jurassic franchise that is still currently canon. And that is, in the Lockwood Estate, you can clearly see in the background, in one of the displays, with the taxidermy quote-unquote dinosaurs a dimetrodon another permian species so that so once i saw this after seeing that i was like oh so yeah permian species have been around in the jurassic franchise for a little bit longer than this reveal we have a mystery species now remember what i was saying about the speed dinos before i think are of the said speed dinos now i kind of nicked these from the game beaver uh, <laughs> but here we see the head of one of these dinosaurs i don't know this could be the pyroraptor or it could be the dionychus it looks like it could go either way 
But either way, that looks pretty sick. But yeah, that's going to have to do it for this video. I'm going to have a lot to edit. So yeah, as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I put up new videos like this one. And as always, dinosaurs might be older than you, but you are never too old for dinosaurs. Bye-bye.